Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last episode, Byakuya announced that he was throwing a party tonight as a way of preventing a murder from happening. However, I get the very distinct feeling that a murder is going to happen at the anti murder party. It's going to be beautiful. I have been waiting. I have been waiting for murder to occur, and I think it might happen in this episode, and I am so excited. I don't care how morbid that sounds, I am so excited to finally get to the murder. Now, something I very quickly want to check. Um, it would be under report card, right? I want to see- yeah! We are at four out of six events with Byakia, however, here's the thing, I'm- if I remember correctly, there were certain characters in Trigger Happy Havoc, you couldn't do their full events because, you know, they got killed off before you ever had the chance. Like, uh, I think Sayaka and Leon were both like that. You could only do all of their events in, um, in school mode, I think it was called. Yeah, we'll never see Byakia's final event because I, I'm telling you, he's gonna get killed off. He is gonna be murdered, 100%. I will, I will eat one of my shoes, I'm telling you. I will eat one of my shoes if Byakia isn't the one who gets killed. Okay, where, where he at? Uh, the ranch? Okay, he's at the ranch. Let's, let's run there. It's not too far. And we do want to, we want to level up, and we need to get more steps for Chibimi. Okay, I think, wait, would it be quick to go this way? I can't remember. I can't re oh, yep. <laughs> Good thing I trusted my, uh, my instinct. No, Byakia? Wait, did I get completely confused? No, the F1. The market. Whoops, I got confused. I did a dumb. I, why, why on earth did I think that was the ranch? Why on earth did I confuse that for the ranch? Oh well. Oh well, it's fine. It's re. There we go. Snake Emmy! Hello, you became a cute little snake with a bow. Oh, hello. Hello, that you do you. You do you, Snake Emmy. Hopefully I will prevent you from gaining more despair as you live in your own filth. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Snake Emmy. I, I never had a Tamagotchi as a child. I, I, I couldn't, I, I just, it wasn't my thing, but if I had had a Tamagotchi, I'd, the stress, the stress of trying to keep it happy, I don't think I could have coped. <laughs> Despite the fact they were prepared for the party, I shall enjoy Teru Teru's dishes as well. Does the ultimate cook skill surpass that of the Tokami Corporation's chef? What should I do? Should I invite Byakia to hang out? Yes. Hmm. So, you're interested in the dishes prepared by my company's personal chef? Let me tell you about them. I was forced to listen to Byakia speak at length about the various dishes he's eaten. Looks like Byakia let me get a little closer to him. Yes, we shall give him a present. And you know what? We're gonna spare him the mineral water. Would you like some potato chips? Mm, a staple snack food made by frying thin potato slices in oil. Beware, it's dangerously high calorie count. Many men have lost everything after betting they could only eat just one. Oh. Yeah, take, take the potato chips. <laughs> Usually, I wouldn't pay attention to such an obvious attempt at currying favor. Rejoice. But this item has significant value. In my mind, your stock has increased tremendously. Listen. Listen well. 
There are three types of affluent progenies in this world. Despite their intellect, there are useless progenies who only have their smarts. Despite their good looks, there are useless progenies who only have their looks. <laughs> but the one who is superior in both aspects is the most powerful affluent progeny of all. Byakia Togami. I, I see. And I thought he was making a grand introduction, but no, he was just boasting. Rejoice. Hajime, I will tell you and only you the secret of how the Togami family has prospered. How they prospered? Hmm. It is based on a special hereditary system, yes! Yes, all of the family battles it out. The head of the Togami family doesn't have a wife. Instead, he has countless children with excellent women throughout the world. The children are forced to compete with one another, and who remains standing as the winner? Hmm. Will become the next head of the Togami family. You mean the kids all have to fight each other? That's right. <laughs> A memory stirs. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you for confirming your identity. Well, you haven't exactly confirmed your identity, but you have confirmed that you are not Byakia Togami. I completed Byakia Togami's uh, free time events in Trigger Happy Havoc. And I remember him telling us about the special hereditary system, and I distinctly remember him saying he had around 15 siblings. It was a number very close to that. I can't be 100% sure if it was 15 exactly, because it, it has been like six months since I completed Trigger Happy Havoc, and I don't know how many months since I saw that cutscene, but it was something like 15. It was a number under 20 above 10. It was not 108. That is a guess. That is a guess. This is not Byakia Togami. Thank you, thank you ever so much for confirming that. During my time, 108 of us, boys and girls, fought to become the next head of the Togami family. 108 people? Were they all your siblings? Hmm. That's right. You're guessing. You're guessing, sir. I don't know who this is. I have no idea. But I guess, like like I said, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this was something like the ultimate identity thief. But maybe the Tagamis never publicized how many, you know, how many siblings are in each battle. As such, he's having to guess. He knows that Byakia won, but he doesn't know how many siblings were involved in the fight. Hmm. That's right. And we were ranked based on our strength. The most powerful affluent progeny is gold. The one below that is silver. I was ranked the weakest of all. Bronze. Listen. But in the end, I defeated every last one of them. I even defeated the affluent progeny of darkness. This just sounds like Tish. This sounds like absolute nonsense. Byakia never mentioned any kind of ranking system. I, I think he's making this up. He doesn't know how the, how the fight works because it's a Togami thing. Only, only the siblings would know. And presumably they never talk about it online or wherever. So he's having to guess. But in the end, I defeated every last one of them. I even defeated the affluent progeny of darkness. Listen. And from there, I finally reached the top. <laughs> it was the first time in the history of the Togami family that a bronze won their way to the top. No, it was the first time in history that the youngest male won. I remember that line too. There was nothing about gold, silver, and bronze or darkness. That's amazing. Well, it's not like I know if it's true. Think it through, Hajime. Think it through. 
But if it really is true, I definitely would have run away at some point during the middle. Hmm. It's the history of a battle that will continue for many ages. Isn't it horrifying? And now, Byakuya Togami is standing atop that history. <laughs> How about it? Isn't it amazing? As expected of the Togami line, right? He's filling in the gaps. He's filling in the gaps to make it sound believable. As expected of Byakuya Togami, you mean. Is Byakuya saying that? That sounds like something Hajime would, should be saying. <laughs> no, he's breaking character. He's breaking character. <laughs> Compared to any other person, his was the most absolute existence I'd ever seen. Huh? There's something strange about what he just said now. Yeah, he's outed himself. He's outed himself as the ultimate identity thief. <laughs> uh, Hajime, if... If by any chance... <laughs> if you could become anyone other than yourself, who would you want to be? Sir? Anyone other than myself? Hmm. I've never thought about it before, but... I'm... I'm definitely fine with who I am. Right now, I'm more focused on what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I see. That's perfectly fine. Especially if that's the real you. Goodbye. Hm. That was quite a nice way to kill some time. That's so interesting. That's so interesting and we're never gonna see the final free time event because he's totally fucking dead. He said that he turned and walked away i was struck by how lonely he looked with his back to me hmm what did he mean by what he just said now let's try that sentence again hmm what did he mean by what he said just now i feel like i'm starting to get to know byakia better but i feel like something's missing yeah his true identity even if it's impossible right now there might be a day when Byakuya is able to tell me. With his own words. Okay. Yeah, Byakuya's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. And now he is 100% dead. Holding that belief, I decided to return to my room. And it's night time. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone! Good night! Good night, he says. Whatever, I have a party to attend. All right, time to go to the old building by the hotel. Okay. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I, I want a bloodbath. I want blood on all of the walls. All of it in its bright pink hue. I want there to be death and destruction. I have been waiting for so long. Hello, Abuki. Oh, my, my. Oh, are you also here for the party? Why else would I be here? Anyway, what are you doing at a place like this? She's coming out of her cottage, dude. <laughs> I'm doing a little exercise so I can enjoy all the yummy food we're gonna eat. I'm excited to eat Terra Terra's cooking. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. Okay. Good stuff. There are people over there. Okay, Mikan, Peko. Anyone else? Is Fuyuhiko coming? Did, did you manage to get the memo to him, Pekko? <laughs> it's about time for the party. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, uh, I'll, I'll do my best to not be in the way. So it's fine if I s stay here, right? Are you 
really worrying about something like that? Oh, yes. Mm. Hmm. I let Fuhiko know about the party, but he didn't look too pleased about it. Hmm. Buddy. I mean, that... If someone gets killed indoors and he's not there, he has... In a way, he kind of has the perfect alibi. Like, I literally wasn't there. I wasn't in the vicinity. You can't blame me. I still think people are gonna blame him. Hey! So this is the old building. Compared to the hotel, it definitely looks worse for the wear. <laughs> You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why do I have to do that? Hmm. Because I need to do a body check. Body check? Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to take all possible security measures. Listen. I already promised that I would not allow even one person to become a victim. I, I get it. And so I reluctantly raised my arms and stood up straight. Byakuya went ahead and thoroughly searched me, starting with my legs and working his way up. I see. It appears you haven't brought anything dangerous. Of course I haven't. That's fine. Very well. I shall allow you to enter. Hmm? It was at that moment that I noticed a strange item near where Byakuya was standing. Metal cases? What? A Duralumin, actually. I found them at the supermarket. This one is used to store any dangerous items I find during the body checks. The other one is for... <laughs> well, let's just say it's for emergencies only. It's a bazooka. It's a bazooka. He's gonna shoot the killer. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But that would be funny. He kills everyone. I won't let anyone be a victim, so I'm killing us all. <laughs> what do you mean, emergencies? Stop talking. Don't worry about it. The others are already here, gathered at the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as he said that, Byakuya turned his back to me. I guess that's the end of our talk, but... He's so cautious. I didn't expect him to perform a body check. And what did he mean by emergencies only? Hmm. Okay, let's... Let's see, what do we have? What do we have in here? We haven't been in this building, so... Okay, so we have we have a fire extinguisher. If there is a fire, we know where to go. An office. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, I've been found. Yes, you have. More money, all of the money. Uh, it is tab. Okay. Is this the desk the staff used for, bu for busy work? It looks like it's dusty. It's better if I don't trust... Don't trust it. Why would you distrust a desk? It's better if I don't touch it. More importantly, I should hurry over to the dining room. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna search everything. What is that? That's a circuit breaker. That's a circuit breaker. Why is it all the way up there? How is anyone supposed to reach it? Well, more importantly, I should... No. No. Okay, and this is the AC. This is the remote control for the air conditioner. I wonder if the filter is clean. Well, more importantly, blah, blah, blah. He's, he's so desperate to get to the... To get to the dining hall. Okay, and here we have the restroom. This bathroom appears to be unisex. I don't need to go now. I should hurry over to the dining hall. Okay. And, oh, hello. You're right, big boy. Oh? There is a tantalizing aroma wafting from the kitchen. Sheesh. However, Byakuya will yell at me if I don't go straight to the dining hall. You should head over there as well. Nope. Nope. I, I explore. I explore. So we got two... One can assume these all lead into the dining hall, but only the middle doors are actually usable. Huh. 
Metal plates. Why does this look familiar? <laughs> God, it's, it's just like being back at Hope's Peak. There can't be windows on... Th that seems like an awful lot of windows, though, huh? Ooh! Hello! Got a lot of stuff to look at. There's a lot of different types of dishes. But this meat on the bone looks like something a caveman would eat. Where'd you even get something like this? I'm hungry. I guess I should go to the dining hall. Nope. And the knives. Mm -hmm. It's a knife set. I never knew there were so many different types of knives. I don't know anything about knives, but Terra Terra probably knows what each knife is used for. Well, more importantly, I should head over to the dining hall for now. And... Equipment list. This is the kitchen's equipment list. It details where each of the items is supposed to go. Okay, yep, dining hall. Terra Terra, do you have anything to say? Hello there. Oh, did you need something? Don't worry, I've already prepared all of the dishes. Or rather, did you want me to cook you up too, eh? <laughs> I can't be mad at him. I just can't. I find him too funny. I dinged my mic again. My apologies. Uh huh? What does that even mean? It means blowjob. It means blowjob. <laughs> I will accept that. Okay, no thank you. No thank you, Teru Teru. We don't want you to suck us off right now. We've got shit to do. We've got murder. Murder will happen. That's the only thing I'm horny for. You might be for, might be horny for ham hands. I'm horny for murder. Please, no one quote that. No. <laughs> Why did I say that? That is going to be taken out of context. Oh shit, Sonia, help me. I made a terrible I mistake. See. I see. So this is what the inside looks like. There are so many gaps in the wooden floor. Is that because it is so old? All right. I must tread carefully so my feet do not stumble. My adventurous heart is pounding away with excitement. I guess when you're a princess, even little things seem exciting. Hey, good for you, Sonia. You do you. And we have a storage room, okay. Ugh. Don't like the spider webs, I do have arachnophobia. We've got a load of irons, flipping heck. These are irons. Were they used to prepare the tablecloth? If so, why do you need three? I should head over to the dining hall. I don't like how dusty it is in here. In a minute. In a minute. Okay, we have... What's that? Yeah, what, what this? Oh, the boxes. There's a jumbled mass of stuff all stacked together. It doesn't look very organised. Yep, head over to the dining hall. It's really dusty. This is a laundry hamper. It looks like you can put dirty clothes in here. Mm, and the tablecloths. Stacks of clean tablecloths. It looks like they haven't been used yet. Okay, okay, and with that... Yeah, we can, we can go. Your wish is my command. Hajime, we will head over... Hello, you weren't facing this way before. Oh, I don't like that. That ain't right. I'd rather they just face one way. Ooh. How pretty. <laughs> ah, Hajime. How do you like it? What do you mean? See? I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet, too. Really? Even the carpet? I trust nothing. I trust nothing. What did you do? What did you do? Yep. No. No, I... I wanted to clean so I could do a nice thing for everyone and make the room look really pleasant. In any other game, I would believe that, but not this one. Not this one. Everyone has an ulterior motive. Yep, I brought it from the supermarket. That place sure does seem to have everything. 
almost like it's uh, it's not real. Almost like its inventory is just, you know, a computer that it can pull assets from and ding them up to what the what the people in the simulation need. Mmm. <laughs> I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. <sighs> There was a lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place, too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning for the whole day. You're commendable, Nagito. I don't trust this. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. I trust nothing. I trust nothing. Okay, what have we, what have we got to look at? Let's, let's go from left to right. So we have more AC. Oh, I, c I could use that right now. I'm so warm. There's, there's a heat wave in the UK and I don't cope well with the heat. It's nice that there's an air conditioner here, but the filter might need to be cleaned before we turn it on. Okay, I'm uh, here. Really. Hmm. This old place sure is run down. I feel bad Nagito went to all this trouble cleaning it. Even cleaning has its limits. See? Check out the floorboards. Maybe the wood shrank because of deterioration? Don't these openings seem dangerous to you? You're right. Aww. Well, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess it won't be that big of a deal. Hey. But it might be best to tell Mikan to be careful. Yeah, she is the type to trip over nothing. You notice how they are all underestimating her. Like, oh, she's so clumsy. Oh, she wouldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. We have to look after her. Hmm. Hmm. I'm worried about Monokuma showing up. If he finds out we're having a party, there's no way he'll, there's no way he'll leave us alone. So, we got to do something about it. You're right, we should do something. Super difficult. I wonder if someone can do something about it. Uh Madam, do you want to be the one if are you expecting Hajime to do something? Hmm, I wonder. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. So we're on the same page then. I'm not sure I understand. She wants you to do something, dude. She wants you to do something. Such a big table. Will the dishes be placed here too? And Hyoko. Gross. That creep Byakuya rubbed his hand hands all over me and called it a body check. More like sexual harassment. That's not what it is. He did the same thing to the guys, too. Hajime, guys can be sexually harassed by women and other men. Have you not seen Teru Teru? Have you not seen him? He was offering you a blowjob earlier. <laughs> so, I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. Eh? Ugh! Hyoko, are you okay? Hyoko, are you alright? Yeah, I'm pretty in demand, you know. You're just kidding. She's not. She's not. I mentioned this before. Um, I, I was a lolly well up into my early 20s. I was mistaken for a 12-year-old child. There were certain people who um, were interested in me because I looked like a child, but I was of legal age. It's not pleasant. Being a lolly isn't fun. Please, take it from me. It's really not. It's just a series of humiliating situations that you are repeatedly put into again and again and again until eventually you grow out of it, hopefully. Fingers crossed. You're just kidding. She's not. She's really not. Such luxurious looking party dishes. Looks tasty. 
iron plates? That reminds me, I saw some similar looking iron plates in the hallway too. But why are there iron plates bolted onto the walls? How pitiful. All is not what it appears to be. Eh? Stay back. One of my four Davis, Supernova Silver Fox Sandy, has seen what lies shrouded amidst the darkness. Though that iron plate appears to be bolted to the wall, it's actually bolted over what's known as a window. Window? Let me tell you this. There are no windows in this dining hall at all. I assume those iron plates are covering them. But why are iron plates covering the windows? Could Byakia have done that? So that no one could, say, climb in without getting checked and bring a weapon in. Or so that no one could, like, snipe someone. Still, it'd be... It'd be pretty stupid to do that. Because everyone would know, oh, well, this person wasn't at the party and it was a sniper. So it's clearly got to be that person. I, mm. But why are iron plates covering the windows? The night is my domain. Hmm. Sandy, it appears your fur is rustling more than usual today. Uh, hey, why are iron plates covering the windows? Let's make history. Such a fine day. Countless lives gasp their first breath, and countless more go the way of all flesh. I guess he doesn't know. Well, this building is in the middle of a renovation, so I guess that might have something to do with it, but... This place sure has a creepy atmosphere because of that. Hmm. Yeah, we can look at... Both of these tables and everywhere. Then everyone else. I'm gonna take a sip. I'm gonna take a sip because I am overheating right now. Mmm. So much better. I have some very nice uh, chilled diet Pepsi with me today. There are lots of fancy looking party dishes on the table towards the front. And the one at the back. There are a lot of tasty looking party dishes. Meat, fish, it's all there. Nice. Good instincts. Even though that man is a lowly worm, it appears his cooking skills are most impressive indeed. Nevertheless, even his food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisine of the multiverse. Okay. Uh. I like I like that Gundam is still so very, very Gundam. Man, that was so uncomfortable. Getting groped so thoroughly by a man. That was my worst nightmare. Oh, you mean the body check? How annoying. Plus, he got super pissed and started yelling at me when he noticed I had a wrench with me. Seriously, how friggin' annoying. So do you still have the wrench? It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. Man... I just happened to find it at the airport. Carrying it around calms me down. But Byakia put it in that Duralumen case of his. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> oh. Ultimate Affluent Protagonist, okay. Suddenly we heard the voice of the Ultimate Affluent Protagonist ring through the dining hall. I've made you wait. Thank you for waiting. Teru Teru is in the kitchen, and it appears Fuhiko did not come. I apologize. I apologize. I did inform him about the party, but... Jeez! It's not like you need to apologize, Peko. It's his fault for not coming. <sighs> I explicitly stated that attendance was mandatory, but... It's fine. If just one person is absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. Yeah... If everyone is in the building and he's out there, then he won't cause trouble for us, but we can't also cause trouble for him. But again, that relies on everyone being in the same room and everyone having line of sight. He won't be able to do anything. Hmm? What do you mean by that? What? More importantly, hmm? Come on. Hey, what is that? An intense expression spread across Byakia's face as he looked at the table with various food dishes on it. Not possible. 
dangerous. As he stomped his way towards the table. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? The kebabs. I'm gonna grab that because I can. Uh, uh, Hajime said it himself. You're hogging all the food. No fair. No, I'm not. I don't care what you say, you're totally pigging out. <laughs> that was that was some beautiful voice acting. I'm telling you, I'm not look carefully at this dish. It looks like delicious roasted meat. And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? Mm -hmm. It's an iron skewer. That's right. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. Hello there. Hey, looks like everyone's here. I should go ahead and bring out the rest of the... Huh? Huh? What? Some messy eater ruined my... arrangement? Hmm. Who made this dish? Um... Th that would be me, but, uh, are, are you a food critic? Would you like the blowjob? What are you thinking? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous items. No, 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 no. Dangerous? That's... I don't know how to pronounce that. Churrasco? Ch churrasco seems maybe right. Dangerous? That's churrasco. It's a South American meal where you stab meat on an iron skewer to cook it. Mm hmm It felt really tropical and exotic, so I thought it would totally fit the party's atmosphere. <laughs> These iron skewers are a problem. Why? Eh? Iron skewers aren't allowed either? <sighs> if that's how you're acting, then there might be more skewers than just these. Let's go. Hey, Hajime, come with me. I need your help. Why me? Man. It's your fault for standing right in front of him. My condolences. Byakia's face bore an intense expression as as I reluctantly followed him out of the dining hall. Okay. Byakia. Okay, this way. Hello. Let's go. All right. This is the kitchen. We have to thoroughly inspect it to make sure there are no dangerous items here. Thoroughly, huh? Byakia stopped into the, stomped into the kitchen, and I followed after him. Listen. Let's get on with it, then. Search this place thoroughly. As he issued that order, Byakia began searching the whole kitchen from one end to the other. Hmm. Look. I found these. These are forks and knives on that shelf. Don't tell me. Those two? Naturally. These are definitely dangerous items. If you're just eating, chopsticks are enough. I mean, you could blind someone with a chopstick. If you stab them through the eyeball, you could probably kill them with a chopstick. After he said that, Byakia threw the, thought, threw the forks and knives into the Juralumen case, one after the other. You're being very thorough about this. Yeah, of course he is. Yeah, it's, it's the same as before. So. Chinese, Japanese, French and Italian cuisine. Seafood dishes too. There's even a huge piece of meat on the bone. That Teru Teru, he sure got fired up. I don't even know if I'd be able to eat that much food. I see. It seems there are no dangerous items, like that skewer in the Tarasco earlier, inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. Phew, I wouldn't have known what to do if he'd said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. I mean... I'm just saying, you could hide a shiv or something in the food. If you're not going through it, if you're just looking at it... You could totally stick, like, a shiv onto the bottom of the plate and just put food on top of it. Um, this paper is... I see. I see. 
It appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses. So there, I would just like it pointed out there are 2 iron, ske iron skewers unaccounted for. There are also iron plates for barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Hmm. Iron plates and a portable stove. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. Though the building is old, the kitchen is impressive. Compared to a normal restaurant, it's not too shabby. Very strange. But it's strange. One of the items on this list seems to be short by one. Were there four iron skewers with the food? That, that was the only thing that I could immediately jump to. Five iron skewers, but we've only seen either three or four. There appears to be various types of knives, but these... What? Out of the question. Knives are far too dangerous. Hand them over to me. I'll safeguard them. Bianchi grabbed the knife from my hand and threw it into the Duralumin case with the rest. Of course. Okay, is there anything else? I mean, aside from the camera and the monitor. Now's not the time to dwell on the surveillance camera. Okay, um, yeah, that seems to be it. Hey, is it necessary to go this far? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm doing this because it's necessary. If I'm to fulfill the promise I made to not let anyone become a victim, I must be extra vigilant. Really? Is that all? What? What do you mean? Well, I'm just assuming, but I think something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly. I can't help but think that there's a reason for that. Hmm. That's not it. I've been a distrustful person for as long as I can remember. In what way does he mean distrustful? Does he mean distrustful as in I am a naturally paranoid pe paranoid person, I don't trust other people, or you could read that I've been a distrustful person as in I am not trustworthy. And considering we know that this isn't Byakia, I say we know, I'm, Byakia only had like 15 siblings, he didn't have 108, and Byakia wouldn't lie, he wouldn't make up a random number. So yeah, you could you could read that as either I, I'm paranoid of other, of other people or I myself am a distrustful person and right now I'm trying to do better. Distrustful person? Hmm. <laughs> I don't really like to talk about my past, but it's fine. I'll just tell you a little bit of it. Hmm. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my sceptical nature is partly to blame. Byakia has a past he can't talk about? Hmm. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. Because he can't be himself, he's constantly stealing other people's identities. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. <laughs> but in this kind of situation, my sceptical nature might be of good use. If we're to survive here, scepticism is necessary at all costs. By the way, that past you mentioned. That's enough. Now is not the time. However, one day, there will definitely be a time when I will be able to tell you about it. Hmm. If nothing happens and time passes for us peacefully, I will have no choice but to talk. That sounded pretty deep. I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now, because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have a deep mystery hidden within him, deeper than I thought he'd have, and will never learn it because he's about to die. Such silly talk. Hey, enough with the unnecessary banter. We'd better hurry and find the rest of those dangerous items. Yeah, got it. Even so, he sure works us hard. That's probably more in line with his actual personality, I bet. Huh? Terry Terry said it himself. Why? What the? Kitchen's a mess. What happened here? Stop talking. Don't raise your annoying voice. I just removed all the dangerous items. Huh? 
Ah, oh, there are no knives or forks. Why? How come? Don't make me repeat myself. I literally just said that I removed all of the dangerous items. You're kidding, right? Don't tell me. You're treating cooking utensils like dangerous items? No, 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 no. Well, most of the dishes are finished. All I gotta do is arrange the plates, so it's not a problem, but... But... But still... <laughs> Why are you crying to me? <laughs> Excuse you? Why had you may? Oh, he's clinging to a shit! No! To stop it! Get off me! Eh? I, we told you no to the blowjob! We told you no! You cannot suck us off right now! We've got murder to get to! Oh, uh, you know, speaking of, I am just about out of time for this episode. In the next one, murder! Murder! Come on! I want myself a murder! That's all I really want! Please, game, give me the murder I so seek, and no blowjobs from Teru Teru. But, until then... Please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.